welcome back to the polished desk if you are new to my channel then welcome i'm so glad that you're here if you are a returning viewer then thank you so much as well i'm so glad that all of you are tuning in for my new video if you like the content that you see here on the polished desk i do hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel make sure you also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever new content is released here on the channel i am also on instagram i will link that information below and you can also email me at the polished desk at gmail.com i will put that information below as well so the reason that we are all here it is of course holiday nail polish collection season and so i am going to kick off my holiday swatches with the new nine piece deborah lipman set called beautiful dirty rich for holiday 2021 uh, this is a limited nine piece set uh, because it is one of the sets you get nine of the little fashion size kind of mini bottles here uh, just as a note uh, just because they are the minis they are still the same as the regular full-size gel lab pro colors that you can purchase they're just in the mini size so it doesn't have that on the front of the bottle i am so excited about this collection you guys this is inspired by a desire as deborah Lippman's website puts it for versatile and timeless colors um, this is one of those, if I had to have three words to describe this collection, it would be eclectic, glamorous, and fun. Um, it is all over the place, but I love that. I don't know about you all, but um, sometimes it's kind of hard when we think holiday collection because we think Christmas, or we think New Year's, or we think this, or we think that. This has something, I think, for everyone. I am absolutely in love with this range of colors. When I first opened the box, I thought, well, these are all over the place but once you see them swatched together they just are still somehow this cohesive collection and i love how there is literally um you know we have neutrals going on one of the neutrals has shimmer hint it's one of my favorites in the collection um we have some of the more kind of traditional for this time of year with the jewel tones and the gold going on and then we have brilliant pops of like red and pink which are trending. I know that some of these co colors are a little controversial for holiday collections, but they are not only absolutely what's trending, but I think that they are just so fun um, and in true Deborah Lippman fashion. I don't know how they do these collections, but they just always come together so well. Um, so if you do not know a lot about Deborah Lippman, uh, Deborah Lippman is a high-end brand that offers not only nail polishes and nail care products, but also body care, also cosmetics. Um, all of her nail polishes are tin free, meaning they are free of some of the tin most dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polishes. They are also completely vegan and they are cruelty free. So if you're someone like me, that those are that's what you're looking for in a nail polish brand, um, then Deborah Lippman is your brand. Um, I really love these Gel Lab Pro colors because it is in fact a healthier alternative to gel. Um, so you can get that high shine, you can get the long wear, but you're not doing the damage to your nails and you can be like me and change your nail polish as many times as you want without worrying about the damage that you're doing to your nails because as you wear these um, and the website has a whole list of ingredients that are included they are things that are all natural and they are things that actually not only make your nails look better but actually makes them healthier as well and I just I don't know I feel better when I wear these polishes because I feel like I'm doing um, not only making my nails look better but I'm doing something good for them too so Anyway, having said that, again, this is an amazing collection. I really think that there's something here for everyone. So I'm really excited to get into the swatches. So we will do that. Uh, before we do that, um, I am using under all of my swatches and in my swatch photos today, the All About That Base uh, CC Base Coat. This is a great base coat because if you have any kind of ridging or any kind of imperfections in your nails, um, this covers that up. It gives you a smooth base. It also 
has things that are going to, again, um, make your nails healthier. And this is also a beautiful option to wear on its own because it dries down to a matte finish and that's trendy in and of itself. So you have that. Um, we are also using today the Addicted to Speed top coat. Uh, it is a fast drying top coat and it also gives you amazing shine. Um, and when it says fast dry, it's not kidding. I mean, this dries almost instantly. I absolutely love it. Um, you know, not only for regular wear, but it's great for swatching because you can, um, you know, get that high gloss and that quick drying for your pictures really, really fast. So I will link uh, those two things below as well as where you can get the collection and we will get into the swatches. So let's get right into the set here with Yummy. This is described as a full coverage dirty peach cream. So as you can see here on the first coat, we're getting really good uh, first coat coverage here, color coverage. I was really impressed with the formula of this one, especially for it being a lighter shade. A couple of the cream shades in this collection are lighter colors like this, and I was just really impressed by how they performed overall. So I did get full coverage in two coats, and as you will see, the top coat, which again is the Addicted to Speed, dry top coat just smooths everything out it gives you that great shine and it does dry very quickly so that is two coats plus top coat of yummy next up is the shade levitate this is described as a full coverage mauve with pink shimmer so again, I was very impressed here with the coverage on the first coat. As you can see, this is practically a one coater. I also wanna draw your attention to the fact that the shimmer is amazing. And as you can see, what brush strokes I am having here are very minimal. Not only that, when this dries down, I did not have a single brush stroke issue. So uh, once I did that, I just let it dry for a few minutes and then I added my top coat for extra brilliant shine also as you will see in my swatch photos the shimmer does not dry down it does not go away here so I was absolutely excited about that this was actually one of my favorites in the collection and um, yeah I was just so happy to see that shine stay so that is two coats plus top coat of levitate Next up is Only Human, and this is described as a full coverage tan cream. So again, this is another one that was a little bit lighter of a shade, and it is a cream shade, but look at that coverage on the first coat. I was just absolutely impressed by this. I did not dislike this one. Uh, it reminded me somewhat of Deborah Lippman's Naked, although this is more of a tan so i did not love this on me however i was very impressed by the formula as you can see here full coverage in just two coats That is two coats plus top coat of Only Human. Next up is My Oh My, and this is described as a full coverage lilac cream. So again, I sound like a broken record, but going into this one again for a light shade, I was very impressed by the coverage here. It is a little bit sheer on that first coat to be expected, but the coverage is still very even. I um, almost cheated and picked this one as another one of my favorites, but I didn't do that uh, because I usually go for the shades like this, but look at this coverage in two coats. This is actually a shade that I would wear any time of the year. I do like to wear a shade like this in the fall, and um, I just absolutely love that it's included in this collection. So that is two coats plus top coat of My Oh My. Next up is the shade Watermelon Sugar, and this is described as a full coverage strawberry red with silver shimmer. 
So going into the first coat here, to me this almost had a jelly-like kind of base, which I love. You all can see that the silver shimmer uh, is included in the red base here. Um, I really liked this shade of red. Uh, bright reds are actually in right now for fall and that can go right into the holidays. Another interesting thing here, if you're looking for the shimmer to be very prevalent once it dries down, you may be a little disappointed. However, I love this one because I feel like in certain lights, the shimmer looks different. Like in some lights, it appears to be a little more prominent than in others. So for me, that made this one a little bit of a shape shifter and I absolutely loved it. Plus, you can't beat this amazing formula and just super fun, bright color. So that's two coats plus top coat of watermelon sugar. Next up, we have a beautiful purple jewel tone packed with iridescent shimmer that is perfect for the holiday season. So right off the bat, this was another one of my favorites in the collection. I love the fact, first of all, that it is a jewel tone and look at the coverage that I am getting in this first coat here. Um, absolutely love the formula. To me, this looked like more of a pink when I first saw it, but it is actually more of a purple and I'm actually really glad. I'm also um, just super in love with the shimmer in this one. It just applies so beautifully in two coats when you add the top coat as you will see it just gives you even more shine i absolutely love this one not only for fall but like i said also going into the holidays uh, an absolute winner in this collection Next up, we have Kaching, and this is a full coverage gold chrome. Now, I just wanna say up front that I am not usually A, a gold polish person, or I'm very picky, and B, I am not into chromes, which to me, this is actually more like a foil. I would say that it performs as a gold uh, foil and a chrome, but oh man, I absolutely fell in love with this one. And yeah, I am not into the chromes and the foils, but I just love the way that this one applied. No brush stroke problems uh, at the end when I was finished with the swatch. And for me, this is a gold that I actually did not hate on my skin tone. I'm usually more of a silver kind of girl, but I don't know. I just absolutely love this one. As you can see with the top coat here, it just gives you some extra shine. I think this would be beautiful on its own or as an accent nail. Uh, this was a surprise favorite for me, for sure. So that's two coats plus top coat of Kaching. Next up is Savage. This is described as a full coverage chocolate with gold shimmer. So this was another favorite of mine in the collection. As you can see here on that first coat, we get a lot of that really dark chocolate brown color here. Um, this one also had kind of a jelly-like base to it. As you can see, we also get a good dose of the shimmer. I apologize for some of my mistakes there. I got a little overzealous with the brush. I had a little too much polish. So you can see that throughout this swatch, but look at that second coat. You get full opacity in two coats here, and I loved how dark this was, but it still looks brown, and that top coat just completely lights this up. I absolutely love this one. I'm debating over whether or not to wear this for Thanksgiving. I'm not really sure, but I just, I love this as a holiday shade. So that is two coats plus top coat of Savage. And the final shade is What's Poppin'. This is described as a full coverage, punchy pink cream. And punchy, this one is indeed. First of all, again, broken record time. Look at that coverage on the first coat. When I first watched this one, I actually thought that this would be very similar to Freedom, which is one of the fall releases, but that one actually has a lot more blue in it. Uh, Deborah Lippman is not the only brand putting out a bright pink like this for the holidays, and I know that that's controversial with some people, but I absolutely love this kind of pink for the holidays, so I am here for it. Bring on the bright pinks. 
As you can see here, the top coat is going to smooth it all out. It's gonna give us even more brilliant shine and just even everything out for a beautiful, shiny, finished manicure here. So that is two coats plus top coat of What's Poppin'. There you have it. So that is the entire Deborah Lippman collection for holiday 2021, the beautiful Dirty Rich collection, the nine piece fashion size set that is available now from Deborah Lippman. I hope that you all enjoyed those swatches. I, as usual, I had a hard time, as I do with many collections, picking favorites. Uh, but one of my favorites was definitely Levitate. Um, I love this one. This actually reminded me a lot of Essie's Wireless is More. But I just, I love a good mauve. Um, and I love that if a polish is going to have the shimmer like this, that it doesn't have the crazy brush stroke problem. As you can see from my swatches, uh, not only did I not have brush stroke issues when I was applying them, them, but when they dried down, um, they dried down beautifully with no problem. Um, I also would be lying if I said that I didn't absolutely love this beautiful. When I first looked at this, I thought it was more of a pink, uh, but this gorgeous purple here, um, I absolutely love. I love jewel tones. And so I'm loving this color right now. I would love it through the holidays. Uh, absolutely love this one. Um, Levitate is one of those I would probably wear all year. Um, I absolutely love colors like this all year. Uh, and so since it's a nine piece collection, I did let myself pick three favorites and so um, I was still really torn because I have to say that I absolutely love Savage. I have really been getting into brown polishes. I know I've said that in other videos but I just absolutely love all of the shimmer um, that is in this and the fact that with all of these shimmers you don't lose um, the shimmer when the polishes dry down. I absolutely love that. So I absolutely love this one. I love how dark it is, but you can still tell that it's brown. To me, it's kind of like fall in a bottle because it has just those beautiful um, multicolored just shimmers in there. Uh, but it was really hard because I, like I said, I'm not a gold polish person, but I actually really liked ka -ching. I for some reason, not only am I not usually, uh, I'm very picky about golds and I'm not usually into like chromes or foils, but I don't know, it was something about the way this one applied. Uh, it didn't apply super thick uh, like a typical chrome or like what I usually associate with a chrome and the gold, I don't know, maybe it was because it was a lighter gold. I just, I didn't feel like it clashed with my skin and I just really liked it. So um, that was like a close in the top three for me, but yeah. So I want to know what you guys think about this collection. Um, one thing that I thought when I first saw the collection is that this is all over the place, but I like that. I love that Deborah Lippman is always pushing the envelope with, um, with these amazing collections because they are eclectic, but I feel like once you put everything together, I just feel like it all kind of comes together and makes sense. So um, I did want to note also too, because I know this is a concern, I did not experience any staining with any of these polishes. So I did want to mention that. Um, I will say with, uh, for me, yeah, this the red one, watermelon sugar, uh, if you are prone to staining as far as on your skin, I would be very careful about that. But other than that, I did not have any issues with staining. Um, like I said, the formulas were, were excellent. But I, like I said too, I will link this collection below as well as with the top and base coat that I use. These are available now at Deborah Lippman. Deborah Lippman also retails. Um, you can also find her products uh, at Nordstrom, Sephora, different places like that. So like I said, I will link all of that below. Please let me know if you guys have any requests for the channel um, and what your thoughts are. I love reading your comments. I appreciate them so much. Uh, so please keep those coming. I'm always looking to improve and to add things. So uh, just let me know about that. Some of the things in the works, it is obviously holiday collection season. So um, I will have OPI for you. I'm also planning to do Essie. Um, Right now, I plan to do China Glaze and Orly. I've been a little up in the air, but let me know which brands you guys would like to see first. So this one's kind of kicking it off. Um, I'm definitely going to do OPI and Essie, but if there are any other brands that you want to see, let me know and I can kind of move those up uh, in the queue there for you guys. So I will also, too, be having 
um, a nail care video coming up too. I'm really excited about that. I'm really pulling a lot of products that I really love um, that is that I think represent a good uh, range, not only of prices, but of brands um, and different purposes, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, so uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch and review, and I hope that you will consider subscribing. Please like this video, maybe leave a comment, check us out on Instagram, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys.